Now, what is a streamer's biggest fear? Falling off, getting irrelevant, start getting L's in the chat? Nope. It is forgetting to turn off the stream, leaving the camera on, getting on their bed or on their, I don't know, gaming chair and start beating their dragon. Now, I woke up this morning, went, washed my face, got my breakfast. I was ready to start off my day with positive energy. And the first thing I saw when I opened Twitter was... This streamer ruining my morning once again, just like I show speed and Drake first thing you open, you saw cucumbas flying around. Now, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to show you this, but this is the censored version. In the comments, there was multiple clips of him uncensored. And for some reason, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I watched it five times. Not gonna lie, it felt pretty gay, but it was all for research purposes. And the first thing I did is I went, scrolled down and found his username. And I went to his Twitch channel to see what's up. And keep in mind, this video, when I first woke up and opened it, it was posted five hours ago. It was a very low chance of him being in the same spot, beating his dragon after five hours. I went to his stream and this is what I found. I screen recorded it immediately. I was surprised that the live was still up and running and he wasn't banned yet, but I wasn't surprised that he was in the same position that he was five hours ago. Scrolling through TikTok. Now, this streamer's username is 225FNS. People are claiming that he is a Fortnite pro player, but there's no, like, evidence of it. Just another casual day for a Fortnite player, finishing up his build, getting that royal victory, and getting off stream and giving himself a victory. But one thing I don't understand is with streamers. I stream as well, right? I don't do shit, first of all. Let me clarify. I don't do shit after my streams, all right? Second of all, I'm always aware of is it recording or not. There's a very, like, obvious red circle that says that you are streaming and it is recording, whatever it is. How can you miss that? And the second thing I always check is the lid on my camera. When, I, when I'm done streaming, I just put it on. Now, these people probably do, don't have like a professional camera and they don't have any covers to put it on. But I would suggest Fortnite players and COD players who do these things after stream, use it. Because next thing you know, you're all, all over Twitter getting millions of views and ruining your whole reputation. Now, don't bother. Don't search up his page. I already searched it up right now making this video and he is officially been banned. Now, some people came in the comments below and claimed they know him. This is not official. This is not proved, but this is what they're saying. For the people that don't know who this is, his name is 225. He's 26 years old and pays women to sleep with him. He's not married, educated, or normal. He did all of this so he can get a little bit of attention and get past 10 viewers on Twitch. And he said this is the screenshot of him paying women for sex. Now, many people are saying this was a stunt for him to go all viral. This was another phase Jarvis situation where, I don't know if you remember, but two, three months ago, he also forgot to turn off his stream and he started beating his meat. And it was all on camera and people were saying that was a stunt too. I want to come forward and say even the most idiot person will not do this because it is forever going to be on the fucking internet. I honestly believe that it was not a stunt. It was not for him to go viral because it's, first of all, it's on Twitch. Even if you do this shit on kick, they're going to ban your ass. So there's no good outcome in this. Even if you go viral, first of all, people are going to point at you and laugh at you and just make a meme out of you and second of all you're going to get banned whatever platform you're in also another reason why do i think this is this whole thing was not a stunt because if you look at his room his room says it all an average discord mod room with a lot of cans expired food garbage all around the room without him cleaning up without him caring and when someone is that unorganized they don't give a shit they don't really pay attention to where their usual shit is. They want to go out. They look for their car keys for like 30 minutes. Then they find it under the couch or in the fridge behind the expired food. So for someone like that, it's pretty normal if they forgot that they pressed, you know, stop streaming. Or maybe they did press start, stop streaming. But then once they were getting off, their hand touched it and it started streaming again. This happened to me as well. And I realize it. And I always go back and turn it off. Another person came forward and said that this man has been asking me money for food 
but rolling up weed all the time. He shared this message that he was streaming and he was texting him at the same time and did a huge favor. He basically said he hasn't eaten for two days. He's processing a refund and it will take three days for him to receive the money. He has some sponsorships coming up. He promised he will pay you back. He needs 20 to 25 dollars. Imagine this actually happens to your favorite streamer like I show speed or uh, Kai Sinet. You like they press stop streaming. Everyone's like, oh no. And then later on, uh, <laughs> the notification comes that he is streaming again. And for the people who weren't in the last stream, they're like, let's go. Kai Sinet is on. Let's get the W's in the chat. They come in, they get flash flabbergasted. They get flash in their eyes and they just see fucking their favorite streamer stroking it. It'll be a very traumatizing career ending incident, to be honest. And all streamers must be aware of this. This is some serious stuff. Now, there has been other situations like this, uh, not them stroking it, but people, for example, there was a guy, I don't know if you remember a few years ago, he forgot to turn off his stream and he was claiming that he was handicapped on a wheelchair the whole time when once the stream ended, he just got up and stood up and started fucking running and walking. There has been other things as well. The same person posted he was an old manager of Fortnite team named Fear. The corruption of Fear happened after the owners and the management team got caught selling drugs and using drugs to pay their members. I was a member at the time and I refunded all the money I got to not be a part of it. But also, hey, I might be wrong about this whole thing as well. Maybe this whole thing was a stunt to go viral like that kid who put the fork inside a toaster and fake electrocuted himself. That was a stunt as well for him to go viral and he got a little bit of attention off of it as well. Maybe he was aiming to do the same thing by breaking the thinking outside the box but he failed miserably because his whole account got deleted and he's like oh damn that was such a good plan i honestly thought i would get away with it how come these female streamers show their milkies and their bubble butts out there but uh, i can't i think bro thought the artistic nudity of twitch the update couple months ago was still there he didn't realize they actually removed it so now not only he didn't get followers off of it he got banned and also there was a video of him beating it on the internet i don't think there's anything more embarrassing than that now personally i think having your junk on the internet and just have it specially trend it is the worst thing that can happen to you and i'm gonna tell you a little story as well so for the extra horny people take notes because this thing can happen to you unfortunately with porn like people do not think with their heads anymore especially also when it comes to like dating women online the first thing they see is they think about is how is she shaped in doggy style position that is the porn effect and if a girl messages them first and compliments them and tells them to send a picture of their junk that is the first thing they're going to do because in their head she's gonna go like wow I want to sleep with you so bad right now. You're, you're, you're so big. This story happened a couple of years ago to one of my good friends back in high school where we were, we were like year 12 back in the day. And he was, well, let's say extra, extra, extra horny. One morning I woke up before going to school. I was checking my Instagram and I saw a video of him video chatting with someone and beating it just full on with his face in it as well shit was wild and later that day when we asked him what happened he was really depressed about the situation and he said the girls sliding into his dms complimented to him and they started sexting they went full on with it they were sharing pictures videos and they decided to she decided to be like let's take it to the next level let's get on skype and let's do it live because you got me so turned on i can't wait to see you there he got so excited, he went there as well, and little did he know that the girl was recording it the whole time. After their little show that they had together, the girl messaged them and said, if you don't pay me $5,000 and send it to this account, I am going to leak it everywhere so your family and friends can see it. <sighs> yeah, that, that's, that's, a, that's a fucking nightmare. Poor guy was still in high school, he didn't have $5,000, and guess what happened? His whole family, his whole friends, everyone saw that embarrassing video of him and... It is forever going to leave a mark, especially on your family and friends, the people you still hang out with. And you wish something like that gets erased from people's minds, people close to you, and your mind as well. So what did we learn from this video? If you are a streamer, make sure you are not still fucking streaming if you want to do any nasty shit. Second of all, the th second thing we learned from this as well, that it is not worth it for the men, for the boys watching this video. 
it is not worth it to send a picture of your junk because I can guarantee you it is not something attractive for you to send a woman. I have many female friends and they tell me these things, random uh, kukumba pictures they've been getting. Even if you're talking to someone and you're both vibing each other and she sends you a tease and then you send a full-on kukumba pic it is not attractive especially if someone with zero followers or 10 followers follows you and sends you a dm show me that dragon show me that big big dragon and sends a picture which is obvious that it is an only fans picture or a picture from the internet and it is most definitely not that person who is talking to you do not fall for it think with your head and not your head because if you are lucky and you send that picture to the girl you're talking to she's going to say ew that's if you're lucky if you're lucky she's going to say oh my god ew disgusting if you are not so lucky that picture is going to go all over the internet and you're gonna just be trending on twitter if not twitter your family is gonna get traumatized and you're gonna have a bad name for the rest of your days <laughs> anyways just wanted to update you about this um, streamer who got caught lacking <laughs> but yeah take it for yourself let me know your thoughts in the comments below take it for yourself i'll see you at the next one